I've been living here for 12, 14 years, and I also see that things aren't going the way they were supposed to be going. One of the main things that I find in the village itself is I think we lost touch. Over the past three years, as I've been traveling around in the village, I've noticed that our alleyways, they're horrible. There's no plan to fix them. What you need to do is get a plan, put it in place and do it. That is what we need to do. We don't have that now. I've worked on the highways for over 30 years. I've worked on secondary roads and I've worked on highways and I've worked on bridges. You don't need a master's. What you need is intelligent thought. And what I bring to the table is, is that when someone comes to me and says, John, we have a water main break or we have a pothole or we need more augers or we need more plows. I've done everything that imaginable behind to work in a highway yard. I know how to bring it. And that's what I bring to the table for our community. One of the things I've noticed in the villages, our roads are deteriorating. This is ridiculous. This isn't brain surgery. What we need to do is we need to call up. We need to have a system where we call up. And if there is a pothole, it has to be fixed within 24 hours. This isn't anything that shouldn't be done right away. I mean, our streets are getting deteriorated and that is beyond unacceptable. Code enforcement is a real problem. It has to be fair, but we need new leadership. If there's graffiti, we're gonna clean it. If there's overgrowth, we cut it down. That's what has to be done. We should also be enforcing the parked cars, the br broken down cars, the fixing the cars. Our village looks terrible. It's unacceptable. I'm John Tornabeni. I'm running for trustee, and I'm very proud to be part of Bensonville First. Being a business owner for over 23 years, it gave me a good insight on what we need here in Bensonville. And the flip side now, I'm an employee from a bank, so I have both sides of the fence. I understand what the village needs, I understand what the citizens need, what our residents need. 20 years ago, downtown was different. It was vibrant, it was full of business. And now I look at it and I'm saddened because it, there's nothing left. Three and a half years ago, we were promised a change. The change never came, so that's why I'm here. I'm ready to make that change happen. When small businesses leave our town, it's less jobs for our families. That's why we need to put Bensonville first. As a mom, I want to give my children more than what they have right now. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm committed to Bensonville first. When our business owners and citizens come to Village Hall and they want to have a question answered, they need to get a straight answer right then and now. I'm Raylene Panicola running for trustee, and I am part of Bensonville First. I've been a policeman for 13 years. Um, the community that I am a policeman and I grew up in, so it's kind of a sense of pride for me, being a policeman, putting that uniform on every day. Uh, it, it's a pride thing. Um, being a resident and a police officer in this community, I realize communities change. Um, I want to give our police department, I know a lot of them, they're great guys, I want to give them the tools and the, the leadership and the administration to help them in adjusting to some of this change. With the new O'Hare expansion and Western Access, uh, our police department's going to be faced with new challenges and uh, I'd like to see us be proactive in these challenges where we're going to be ahead of the game and prepared and equipped to handle it. Every resident in Bensonville uh, deserves to know that wherever they go or whenever time of the night or the day they're out on the street, they're going to be safe um, and, and that we're going to be there as a village to protect them. Being a policeman, I understand our first job is to keep everyone and their family safe. Everything else is secondary. My name is Frank DeSimone. I'm running for trustee and I am part of Bensonville First. Desde 1999, cuando llegué para buscar una casa aquí en Bensonville, la llegué buscando, logrando un lugar seguro para mis hijos. Tengo tres niños, dos niñas y un niño, y estamos muy felices de poder vivir en Bensonville, una área tan buena para niños. La comunidad ha cambiado mucho. Uh, Bensonville está llena de muchas diferentes nacionalidades. Se parte de Bensonville First. 
Llegué yo a Bensonville desde 1999 y estoy muy afortunada y feliz de poder ser parte de aquí de la comunidad. Para toda la comunidad latina, les sugiero y les pido que vengan a votar, que su voz también cuenta. Por favor, demuestren que su voz cuenta este abril en las elecciones y recuerden de Bensonville First. I like that opportunity to be able to be part of the community in letting them know what is going on, uh, keeping track of it, as well as being able to provide them the information when they are requesting it. People need to have confidence in their government, and that is the reason why I take this job so seriously. If you have any questions or concerns, there's no reason for you to be afraid. There should be comfortness for you to be able to come and ask us the questions and us to be able to provide you an answer. You need to be able to access that information. You need to be able to have it communicated to you, regardless of the nationality or language that you speak. You live in Bensonville, you have concerns, we need to provide you answers. Over the last 20 years, Bensonville has grown and there's a large percentage of Hispanics in the community. We should all be coming together so that we could be represented even better. You have a vote, please come out and use it this April coming election. And remember Bensonville first. I'm Rosa Carmona, I'm running for village clerk. I'm part of Bensonville first. The village motto is honoring the past, shaping the future. In the past three and a half years, we haven't done that. This election, it's not about who's good and who's bad. It's about moving Bensonville forward. We want more viable Bensonville. We want more access to the government. The residents have the right to come in and have access to the government that we're running. Uh, the businesses have a better, should have a better voice how this village is run. My goal is to bring the, the whole community together, make sure that the residents and the business owner have a say in this administration. In the last three years, this administration has run away with the, all the finances. Salaries are too high. Uh, you know, bonuses have been allowed to be given, which that's got to stop. The team that I have assembled have real world experience that Bensonville needs. My team understands that we need quality people to run the village, but they don't have to cost an arm and a leg. Let's work together and rebuild this town. I need your help. I'm Oranzo Piconio, I'm running for village president, and I'm the leader of the Bensonville First Party.